you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your midday news brief. The curtains came down on the 2019 edition of the St. Lucia Jazz Festival on Sunday, May 12th. This year, a collaboration with the renowned institution, Jazz at Lincoln Centre, provided an increased avenue for national musicians to interface with the world's best in the jazz genre and take centre stage as well. With performances by Etienne Charles and the Ocean View Gang, the festival included outstanding Caribbean artists promoting Caribbean and Creole music. On a production level, St. Lucia Jazz 2019 delivered a pure jazz music experience along with the creation of intimate venues that denote the genre. Organizers are reporting full houses and sold-out events, among them Friday nights the tribute to Nina Simone featuring Legacy and the New Orleans Jazz Band and Ronald Bohinkson, to Saturday night's Grizzly Park Spectacular Showcase headlined by Christian McBride. A sustainable, safe and reliable water supply for the people of Mikud South has been a challenge for decades but for the late Aston James, it was something that was imperative for the residents of that constituency. It would however take over 17 years for a project that was conceptualized in 2002 to come to fruition. Upon assuming office in 2016, Prime Minister the Honourable Alan Chastney and Honourable Ezekiel Joseph heard the pleas of Aston James and approached the Board of Directors of Wasco to seek funding to finalize the project. According to the chairman of the board of directors of Wasco, Francis Denbo, the promise by the late Aston James to successfully deliver the water project to the people of Mikud South is now fulfilled. The official launch of the Canadian publication, Maple Leaves and Caribbean Seas, was held on Friday under the patronage of the Governor General, Sir Emmanuel Neville Snark. The book, according to the High Commissioner of Canada to St. Lucia, is a tribute to Canada's 150-year-old relationship with the Caribbean and commemorates great history, progress and development, partnerships and growth. The book, written in English and French, depicts Canada's history with the region from 1867 to 2017. Ambassador for the United States, OAS, and the United Mexican States, and High Commissioner of St. Lucia to Canada, His Excellency Anton Edmonds, explained that St. Lucia's relationship with Canada since inception continues to grow and strengthen with time. St. Lucia and Canada established ties some 40 years ago. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.